we are now set up to weigh this trailer. We've got a beam that goes down underneath the axle. As we can see, it's right in the center underneath the main pivot point of the trailer suspension. And on this end, we have a bathroom scale. Current reading on the bathroom scale is 32 pounds. That's with the beam now on it. I can see at the other end we've got the beam supported by a jack and basically what we're going to do is jack that up and watch the scale to see what it does. Go ahead. Okay, we've come in contact. Now hang on, let's go and watch the scale. Too much sun, the scale doesn't really show well. 160, 170, 180. Uh, during the setup I uh, didn't have enough room for the beam and the jack underneath the trailer so I did put the 2x4s underneath. Those 2x4s just support the trailer sufficient that it uh, I can get the uh, beam underneath the uh, suspension. So we got light underneath both those tires now. It looks like the answer is yes. So now we can look at our scale. It is 181 pounds. 182 pounds, sorry. Yeah, 182 pounds. And we started, of course, as indicated. Now we can do the calculations to determine what the weight of the trailer really is. Here are the things we measured. I want to point out that this is one side of the trailer. We are going to make the assumption that both sides weigh the same. That may be not exactly right, but then we're not looking to have an exact number either. Now we go back to the diagram and to the equations and we look again at the values that we measured. Now it's time to do the math. We'll put these values into the equations and as we calculate it all out we end up with 535 pounds for one side of the trailer. Next we'll need to measure the tongue. Since the tongue is way less than what the entirety of the trailer is, I'm just going to weigh that uh, directly. And it's coming in at 119 pounds. You lift the tongue so we can see what it is, what the weight is. So the weight without the tongue comes in at about seven, eight pounds, we'll call it. Seven pounds. Seven pounds.